What's up, everybody? You are back with your favorite two, Mignon and Corey, with another episode of Tea and Worship. That's right, and we are so glad that you are here once again with us. Now, we need you to keep watching this good content. Make sure that you watch us every Friday night right here on The Hope TV mm -hmm. at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also follow us on Instagram at The... That's yeah. right. Okay, get it right. <laughs> and make sure that you always also hit that bell. You see that little bell? Hit that mm -hmm. bell. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe also. And also comment. We want to hear yeah. where you're from, what you got, what your thoughts are. Talk back to us. Tell us, tell us what's going on with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Now... Let's just go ahead and get right into this show because I'm so excited today so excited. because our guest today is a talented gospel singer, a songwriter, and actress. Uh, I mean, she can act for real, for real. And she was born into a family of gospel musicians, like a super family. There's no limits to this young lady. Please, please welcome to Tea and Worship the amazing Latrice Pace. Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you Thank for you being for here. We're so happy to have you. <laughs> now, Latrice, now we know that you are a woman of many talents. Yeah. Like, probably some may, people may not even, even realize, but you're not only a singer, you also act, you even bake. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we want to get into all of that, but could you briefly just tell us and tell our audience who is Latrice Pace? Oh, um... I usually like to phrase that answer with just saying I'm a creative being because mm -hmm. I believe when we start putting labels on ourselves, mm -hmm. we create limiting beliefs. So mm -hmm. it's like whatever I put my mind to do that's creative because the creator made me a creative being, <laughs> I'm just a creative being and I can do it and I can accomplish it. So Absolutely. without sounding so deep or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm just a creative being. Yeah. It. And it's perfectly said because I remember you did a show called The One Woman Show. Oh. And I was sitting there going... How yes. in the world is she doing this show all by herself? I wow. mean, you did the props, you sang, you yeah. told story. I mean, how in the world? Created the set, yeah. How wow. in the world? So, and like, and while doing that, you were sharing the life of a pace. So, yeah. can you just share how how that was growing up in the Ooh. house of a pace? <laughs> okay, what a lot of people <laughs> probably wouldn't. You come across people, they're like, "Oh, that had to be awesome. That mm -hmm. had to be wonderful." But when you're the, next to the baby, uh -huh. and you have all of these singers, uh, preachers before yeah. you, you kind of feel lost. Yeah. And you're not really sure of what you have to offer mm -hmm. that's different. Mm -hmm. I've always been, and not intentionally, but I've always been the person that wanted to present something different. Yeah. So I, I felt lost. I didn't think I could do what they did as well as they did or better. So for so long, I, I didn't even try. Wow. Mm. I didn't. I didn't want anything to do with singing. I didn't want to do anything. Anything with traveling. I had to go to church, mm -hmm. but I wanted to be a school teacher. I was like, okay, nobody's teaching school, so uh -huh. let me do that. Yeah. So it was challenging because it took me forever to find my voice mm -hmm. and really be confident in what I had to offer. Mm. But now I'm I'm confident in that, and I'm I'm good with using the name because I realized yeah. they paved the way and they created mm -hmm. a name for me to use that helped me to get into doors now. Yeah. And you've done an awesome job, though, for real. Thank like, you. Yeah, you it's like creating own. your own lane, mm -hmm. but still accepting, yeah. you know, who you who are I and am? how you've yeah. grown. Like, yeah. it's just incredible to sit back and watch you. But I got to know this. Thank you, Manny. <laughs> what? Who was the hardest sibling on you? <laughs> who was the hardest on me? Mm -hmm. My sister, Milanda. Um, really? But, well, everybody, we were, and it's not a front. We were, mm -hmm. we, mother brought us up to be very loving, uh -huh. kind, and patient with one another. Mm -hmm. um, always forced me to do things uh, for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I liked the way she did my hair. I liked the way she did things for me, but after a while she was like, no, do it yourself. Uh -huh. No, do it yourself. And I'm like, hey, you <laughs> just being so me. So that was, she was the hardest, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. yeah. Milana didn't play. Didn't no, play. she did not. <laughs> now, Latrice, on Instagram, you've literally taken us on a whole journey to being a healthier you, which yeah. I feel like is so beautiful that you've been transparent with that. And you've really inspired so many different people, not just women, but just people in general. Mm -hmm. And you've used the phrase, at your own pace and be the change. Yes. So 
Be the Change is a book, correct? Actually, Be the Change is just the logo. Okay. The book is creating a life of consent at your own pace. Okay. Mm. Um, but God gave me Be the Change because I was going through a divorce mm -hmm. and I was literally getting up and looking in the mirror, mirror and self-loathing. Mm. And I got up one day and I was like, I don't like feeling this way about myself. And he said, okay, create a list. And on the, at the first column, I want you to put the things that are in my power to change, God's mm -hmm. power to change. The next column, label it the things that are in your power to change. Mm -hmm. And he, but I didn't even know nothing about no Mahatma Gandhi, <laughs> I promise you, because I was a, a PK. But he literally said, okay, the things that are in your power to change, you change them. And then I, everything around you will start shaping up or you'll see them differently. Mm -hmm. So I had to become the change that I wanted to see mm -hmm. through the divorce, through the self-loathing, through the things that I didn't like about myself. And as I began to change them, I, I started accepting myself. Mm -hmm. I started loving myself. Beautiful. And the things that were in his power to change, I prayed and gave it to him. Mm -hmm. And it was simple stuff. Like, at the time, I was, like, doing, like, unbelievable NSFs. Mm -hmm. And that would make me feel bad because mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not monitoring my money. Mm -hmm. I'm not being a good steward of my money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So God, that's in my power to change. Mm -hmm. it's, not your, it's not in your power to give me more money to mismanage. No, start managing your money. Right. I, want, I, start, I started working out. So mm -hmm. that's where Be The Change came from. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's, it's a whole thing. No, yeah. It's a movement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so we have to dig into the artist. Okay. Latrice, you know, you've done so many amazing things. You are, I consider you to be, and the world consider you to be the BGV guru. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you've been with Donald Lawrence and company forever. Yes. And I mean, you are, like you said, you were an actress, you did Black Nativity. I was mm -hmm. able to experience you there. And it was just phenomenal. And then Color Purple, oh Man. my God. Ward Watching out. you on Color Purple Ward changed out. my entire view wow. of you. Like, I was like, is there any more to this young lady? Wow. It is incredible to see you go from this to that. And, and, and many, that's the thing about it, God, that if you be a steward, a good steward of the first thing I've given you, <sighs> I will open your eyes to what you can do beyond that. Mm. And then when, I, when you're a good steward of that, I'll give you something else. That's why I said we are all creative beings because when we're, when we're faithful to the first thing mm -hmm. he's given us to do, he's like, okay, you, you did the baking, all right, now acting. All right, you did the acting on stage, now TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, you did TV, now Broadway. So that's, that's all of us, Ugh. but that's all I want to say. But it's, it, it shows how important it is to be in position. Yeah. You know, and saying God has, yeah. and then once you say yes to that, then he'll open up yes. something else, say yes to that, and then yes. and you just find yourself evolving and evolving and evolving. Look, y'all, there's more and more and more to my sis Latrice, <laughs> but we're going to shoot to a commercial, and I promise, don't go nowhere, I promise you, you we're going higher and higher with our girls. So stay tuned with T and Worship with Miana Corey. We'll be right back. Four Friends in a Book podcast, <laughs> reading and reviewing. Um, the Conversation by Hill Harper. If you have any desires to be in a relationship, to be married, I think it is a must that you have a conversation. I think, too, he talked about in the book, being honest in your communication. Say a, one, a woman might be insecure about how she's looking. And instead of being honest with that about her partner, she'll say, like, does this just make me look fat? And I think both men and women need to tap into how they're really feeling about something and be able to have that vulnerability and be comfortable. And like Chris said, Chris said, have that environment where you can be honest. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere, but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe. It's his ability to situate the listener. Transition is hard. In fact, I dare say that it's one of the most difficult things to do. And I mean, in a real sense, it is so hard that in one it produces fear. You pick an image 
that we all can relate to. What do you love most about your practice of African-American preaching? Go. My practice of African-American preaching is steeped in Zora Neale Hurston's Negro expression. When we sing a song, it's, it's sung a lot differently. When we do a dance, it's done a lot differently. When we preach a sermon, it's done a lot differently because we take it through our struggle and we adorn it and beautify it. And we've had to dare to find God and mine hope so that we might be able to know that the trouble that we go through doesn't last always. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tea and Worship with Mignon and Corey and our guest today, Miss Latrice Pace mm -hmm. herself. Now, Latrice, um, you recently had a single that was released called Your Blood Speaks. Can you please tell our viewers, viewers about that single? Yes, I was sitting in church one Sunday and it was a guest minister uh, speaking about uh, the blood of Christ and actually, uh, and he was saying that when Cain, when Cain killed Abel, uh, his blood cried out from the ground mm -hmm. for for vengeance, mm -hmm. but when Christ uh, uh, was was when Christ died for us, his blood speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel's blood, mm -hmm. and I was like, wait a minute, blood speaking, yeah, blood crying out, and he was saying even though Abel's blood cried out for vengeance. Christ's blood doesn't cry out for vengeance. It redeems us. It cries out that we're healed. It cries out that we're free. And I was like, oh, my, that really blew my mind. Mm -hmm. So I ended up started just doing a study on that. And I was like, God, your blood speaks a better thing for us, regardless of even in the, the space that we are coming out of, mm -hmm. coming out of the pandemic. His blood speaks that we are healed. Yeah. His blood speaks that we are redeemed. Mm -hmm. His blood speaks that our finances are restored. His blood speaks that there's nothing lacking, nothing missing. We have everything we need. And it's like, God, your blood speaks for me. I, I'm mm -hmm. just, I was just in awe about that until I had to write about it. Mm -hmm. And the crazy thing about it is that being when you know you're connected with the person who is supposed to mentor you, mm -hmm. there are so many signs you get. Donald ended up writing a song. Yes. yes. We did not Love know. It. We did wow. we because we we did not talk about it. We did not Crazy. collaborate. And usually when writers are in that process of creating, mm -hmm. you shut down so you make sure you're not influenced mm -hmm. by anybody else's stuff. That's mm -hmm. true. And when they both came out, I was like, okay, this yeah, is crazy. Was, that's wild. Yeah. Because yeah. we literally just sung no, Donald's part. song. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Song, yeah. yeah. That's yep. incredible. That's true that's connection. Ordained, that's when you know that you're yes. connected to yep. the right person. Absolutely. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. One thing that I, I love about you is how you invite us into your world. Mm. You know, you take us through your life's journey, whether it's good or bad. You show us when you're down mm -hmm. and you show us how God picks you up. You show us your struggles. Yeah. It's like you have no, no, um, no limit to what you, you know, allow us to see. Mm -hmm. And one thing that um, you showed us was the journey with your mother, yes. you know, and it always just watching it. And I always even go back, you know, and I love when you repost things because it yeah. just, it just warms my heart to see how you cared for your mother. Why was being, why was doing to put my life on hold yeah, uh, mm. or to just stop everything and shut down and say, I'm here for you. I knew that right after, right before that, I just finished The Color Purple. Mm -hmm. um, and I tell this story, and it's so funny to me because God has a sense of humor. Right after I finished The Color Purple, God said, go buy some luggage. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go on a tour. <laughs> yes, thank you, Lord. I'm going to go on a tour. And uh, right after that, we got the diagnosis with my mother, and I was living in Gainesville, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I ended up... That's where I was going. <laughs> oh, I love Gainesville. <laughs> I ended up packing up... <laughs> with that luggage that I thought I was going on tour <laughs> and moving in with my mother to care for her because mm -hmm. she had started forgetting to take her medicine mm -hmm. um, and really the blood pressure, and that's so important. Yeah. I, she wasn't eating right, and I was like, mm, mm this cannot happen. I'm moving in, and I thought the luggage was for tour, but it was <laughs> to become a caregiver. Mm -hmm. But it was a no-brainer, and the, besides the fact that God said, this is what I'm calling you to do right now, I had to do it, and mm -hmm. I would do it all over again. Those were the most fulfilling days of my life, those two to three years, I haven't found anything that compared Ooh. to that feeling of fulfillment wow. since. And when she transitioned, I felt lost because it was like, yeah. what am I gonna that do now? Like, yeah. I, nothing felt as, 
as nothing feels as good as that did, mm, you know. Yeah. But it was a no-brainer. Just it was a, what God called me to do at that moment, and it was something I had to do because of what she gave us. Yeah, seeing that it, I know without a shot of a doubt that it allowed other people to heal. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of people don't know how yeah. to handle when someone that close yeah. and to see you go through that moment, I know allowed a lot of people to heal. So thank you for that. Thank You're you welcome. for sharing that. Yeah. Thank you. And I mean, we know that your your family, especially and the world experienced the loss of your mother, the, mm -hmm. the loss of your sisters, Duranis and LaShawn. Mm -hmm. But what are things that you feel like um, you'll miss the most from them and, you'll, and you learn the most from them? Oh, their presence. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, because it's still, um, challenging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, and like I said, a lot is incomprehensible to even imagine that, wow, they are gone. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, their presence. That's, I, I will never take anybody's presence for granted mm. ever. So that's what I, I miss the most. Um, Nisi, her cooking. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Her cooking, so, Sean's sensitivity. Mm -hmm. She was so sensitive. Everything she did, it was like, Tracy, was that okay? <laughs> Tracy, was that okay? <laughs> did it that? You know, so I will miss that about them. Yeah. But, you know, I, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna brush over this moment and be like, I'm okay, yeah. because I have my moments. Oh, yeah. And yeah. we have well, to have give, to. give in to those moments yeah. because yes, we are all human. Mm -hmm. I think it's challenging when people that love us, they don't want to see us in that space and they yeah. want us to hurry up and be okay, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Yeah. Right. But, um, yeah, that's what I miss. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. And that was okay to ask. No, thank yeah. you so much for thank sharing you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so look, you guys, I'm going to give our sis a moment. I, but I, I do want to say this. I had an opportunity to work. With what you did for her, I said it that night. I texted you that night mm -hmm. and probably the next day. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I, I was blowing you up. It was just so excellent and it was amazing. You presented her in a way that... I've always wanted her to be yeah. presented to the world. Yeah. And I thank you for that. Yeah. It was just excellent. Yeah, I thank you. It was it was truly an honor to be in, in her presence and to learn from her. Yeah. Nobody knew, you know, we did, didn't know Nobody. the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for God to give me that opportunity to share with her, I will always treasure. Yes. I always go back and I look at our videos that yes. we did together. And, you know, yeah, I even go back to our text thread, just her wow. calling me niece or, you know, a, a daughter, you yes. know, those things. It means the world to me. Cause I remember as a child being in a car, you know, in the back seat of my father's car and we listening to y'all, yeah. you know? And I even have videos of me sitting on side of bed. <laughs> I'm Duranis and I'm trying to sing, <laughs> you know, and my sister LaShawn, like we all were somebody. Yeah, Toby, Tommy, we was all somebody, yes. you know, y'all. And, 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 and to be a part, yeah. you know, of her life, you know, and, and your life, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just, it's a dream come true. And it's, yeah. it's an honor to be able to call you friend and yes. be able to call you sister yeah. and to be able to learn. Cause y'all don't know, she's my health teacher. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she has been helping me. Now I done went off and got pregnant, you know what I'm saying? So, so I don't yeah, have to put things on pause. That's what happened when you be killing it at Orange Theory. <laughs> I better watch out. <laughs> But this, <laughs> this, this young lady here has literally, mm -hmm. without her even knowing, has really saved my life over this past year. And oh. I'm, I'm going to go to commercial because I'm right back <laughs> with Corey and Vion and our guest with Street Space. Let <laughs> me get some tissue. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> To Sofia and Gabriel, even though these old knees can't follow on your adventure to the forest today, these flowers represent my love. These stitches and threads join us together. And wherever you see a flower, a bird, a beautiful tree, know that my love is with you.
Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. We are picking men's brains today because we're asking men questions that we want to know. Honest answers. Don't get mad at the messengers. You're changing your looks all the time because you have to keep changing to keep his attention and to keep him from doing it. Then guess what? It's not you, it's the guy. All right, we are back with Tea and Worship with Mignon and Corey and our guest, Latrice Pace. Let's get back into this. <laughs> so I have to go into, um, on your Instagram, um, you have, uh, what is it, at Theatrical Pace? Yes. Right? <laughs> so why theatrical and not at Latrice Sings? Why, why that? Because I, I've always saw, saw myself as an actor who just happened to know how to sing. Mm -hmm. I, I, just, I don't know what it is. I don't want to get caught up in that singing uh -huh. thing. And even though it pays the bills, yeah. don't, it do. do. don't it? <laughs> I just, I don't know. I have, uh -huh. I have a, I don't know. So do you prefer acting I over prefer singing? I prefer acting over mm -hmm. singing. And then I, it makes sense because you can fulfill both of them in yeah. your acting. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah, yeah. so that, that makes sense. I Love see that. musical theater. Yeah. The, the live audience. Mm -hmm. all, in the Tyler Perry production, What's Done in the Dark. Yes. Okay. <laughs> One of my favorites, Nurse Nancy Williams. Yes! Uh -huh. Can you do the splits now? <laughs> I have to warm up and stretch. You ain't got no showing. <laughs> showing. <laughs> showing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but can you tell um, us about what that experience was like? Like, how did that come about? Ooh, like, it was such an amazing experience. At the time, um, Cassie Davis was doing that role, but he was transitioning her from theater to TV, mm. and they okay. needed someone to fill that role. I don't know how my name came up, but I had done shows with him in the past. Mm -hmm. I always tell people I was on the road uh, as Sean's assistant, mm. and because I was assisting her, that opened the door to me to do so many um, th stage plays because mm -hmm. the director was like, hey, can your sister sing? You know, since she's here yeah. helping you. And mm -hmm. she was like, she's my sister, of right. course. <laughs> so from that moment on, I ended up doing the shows with her. And when she stopped doing the shows, they were still calling me. Yeah. So being faithful and serving her opened that door for me to be able to do the shows that I did. And... Um, yeah, that's how that happened, and it, the rest was history. Like, nurse, I remember crying when they said we were taping that show. Um, I was like, God, I never imagined it would get this far where I would be like on somebody's DVD. So yeah. I'm, I'm just, I was so grateful for that. Well, yeah. I want to say you were yeah. excellent. Like, uh, that's one of actually man. one of my favorite Tyler Perry plays, but oh, no, you. you were actually phenomenal. Thank so, you. Yeah. Great job. Yeah, and and to piggyback off what you said, you know, a lot of people won't um don't see the the good in helping oh my somebody else yeah. you know what I mean? and don't know how you serving can set you up yeah. mm -hmm. for your blessing yeah. you know and so a lot of times people think well right. because i'm serving um it's belittling me yeah. no. no it's setting no. you up yeah it's yeah. setting you up and it's preparing you <laughs> right you know for what's next right you know and had you never done that <laughs> that <laughs> we're moving to my favorite part of this show, which is called what, Corey? Church That Hook. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And so my sister here, we have some songs chosen for you. Oh, yeah. All right. That you have to take. They're not gospel songs. Oh, yeah. Okay. But if I know them, I'm sure you know them. Because <laughs> okay. I don't know any R&B. She knows none. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you're going to take the song, and you're going to church it whatever way you feel. It could be worship. It can be uh, praise. It could be quartet. Okay. However you want to do it. <laughs> Latrice's way. Okay. So the first song I have uh -huh. is Whitney Houston. Okay. I will always love you. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I guess uh, let me just go straight to the hook. Uh huh. I'm a Ricky Dillard. Okay. Okay. And I will always love you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really gonna get y'all up. Oh God. <laughs> Ricky, you might need to put that I on your next album. I'm just saying. This one really gonna get y'all up. Okay. It's because this jank. Uh-oh, okay. <laughs> I feel good. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> all I know is the hook. Okay, so um, come on and just lift your hands. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she gonna she gonna worship okay. us. I feel good. Yeah. Yay. Mm -hmm. I love it. I <laughs> See, if I knew verses, I would be able to go a little more, but that's, that's all, right. all I got. That's, that's all, all we needed. Y'all in worship out there, about that, right? <laughs> so, Latrice, before we go, can you please just let us know what to expect from you in the future or in the near future? Um, okay, so in 2017, I, re I did a live recording. I released half of it in 2019. Mm -hmm. We just finished the other half. So, the pandemic. Huh? The that, pandemic no, that started. pandemic. Uh, didn't it do it? <laughs> So uh, we'll be releasing the other half. Not sure of the date yet. Just kind of want to test the climate of music yeah. of mm -hmm. the industry right now. Not really mm -hmm. sure what to do with it and how to release it. But um, so, yeah, that's what I am finishing up to work, to release. Are we going to get any more of those? Um... Tracy Treats. Yep. I said I, said <laughs> we, I, said I was going to relaunch <laughs> Tracy Treats in 2023. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Let me know. I will. <laughs> what are we looking for? <laughs> and also, before we go, can you please just share with our audience how they can follow you on social media and any just encouraging words that you want to leave with our viewers? Oh, yes. You can go to latricepace.com. You can go to latricepace.com, and it'll take you to all of my social media platforms. Um, any encouraging words? I would say what's, what's getting me through these days right now is uh, Psalms 34 and 18. God is close to those who are brokenhearted, and mm. he will save those who are crushed in spirit. Whatever mm. you're dealing with, know that you are not alone, and salvation is nigh. Mm. Oh. Awesome. awesome. Wow. So we want to just thank, once again, our special guest, Latrice Pace, for being yeah. here. Thank we you. are so honored to have you. Just remember what she just said. You are not alone. And make sure that you re remember to come back and see me and your girl, Mignon, every, every, every Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on The Hope TV. Make sure you also are following us on social media at The Hope TV. And just come back and share with us and give us your comments. We want to hear from you. But before we even wrap this whole thing up, we're going to get a special performance right here just for you from our special guest, Latrice Pace. But make sure we see you next week. We love you. For he is good, and his steadfast love is forever. Anybody been redeemed by his steadfast love? Woo! Come on, let's pray. Enter in his gate with the mighty shout of praise, singing glory to his name, all the earth. Come on.